here, what is happening in here is uh, we record um, the audio, then stream it in real time to our data centers. And there's the audio recognition engines come in, extract audio features from my utterances, and then map those onto words and phrases. And then we come up with a set of likely phrases. And then earlier, as you explained, Eric, the, the, the key point here is this list of likely phrases gets compared to the most popular queries we saw over the last few days. And this matching against popular queries, this explains some of the quality we are going, we are seeing here with this application. I mean, you may have noticed this was not even faced by my fairly strong accent. So um, we introduced uh, English about a year ago, and um, since then we have uh, covered Mandarin and Japanese language. And uh, tonight, uh, for the first time, I'm going to show you a fourth language, German. <laughs> yes, so, uh, again, same process, maybe something simple first. Bilder von Berlin. So I apologize, normally it's much snappier, but we are all competing here for bandwidth. But um, do you see some nice uh, iconic uh, images from Berlin? Um, but how about something a little bit more involved? Let's say you want to know about the hip nightclub in Berlin. <laughs> Techno club, Bergheim Panorama Bar in Berlin. You know that place? <laughs> okay, so recommended. So here's the Z map, and uh, you can have it in the place. Field, I have to say I'm still astonished how well this works. Sometimes I'm driving with my little boy in the car and then I hear him playing with voice search and he gives it the oddest phrases and the hit rate is just uh, astonishing. So this was uh, search by voice and now we switch to